Welcome back to Gorgeous Blokes, um, where delusional males try to stay out of jail. <laughs> so if you're familiar with John Euler, you know where this goes, you know where it heads. So let's go uh, look at some Gorgeous Blokes. This was our Gorgeous Bloke from last episode. Since I've decided to transition, I'm more comfortable being me. So happy to be me. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> this look at he's hold on I, I like to recreate it's fun i'm thinking thinking pensive thoughts i'm staring off into the distance thinking about how wonderful it is to be me dear diary today i was comfortable being me a man in a dress <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'd like this dress i hate saying congratulations it. you played yourself i hate saying that I'd like the dress, though, for myself. I, I would look good in it because I'm a woman. He looks ridiculous in it because he's a clown and a man. The weak chin. You know, if it's not a fatherless man, it's a weak chinned man. You know what I mean? And and they don't have to. It, it could be both. It could be both. Or or or, or a violent father. Those The violent fathered ones, those are the Buffalo Bills. This guy could have a weak chin and a violent father. Either way, I don't trust him because he's a bloke in a dress. What have you noticed in transition about changing sexuality or relationship alignment? Um, that's called pseudo bisexuality. You are interested in a man fucking you now because it'll make you feel like a woman. Man, I feel like a woman. But you'll never feel like a woman because you don't know what it is to be a woman because you're not a woman. You don't know what it's like. So yeah, you. so it's called pseudo bisexuality. We don't need to get into it. Um, it's part of your fetish. Girlfriend accepted me without fanfare. That's because you're abusing her. You've uh, emotionally abused her. And if you haven't, the, the culture has. The culture has worn down her safeguards to the point that she finds this to be acceptable behavior. Yeah, I knew and I accept all of you. Ma'am, if you knew this, then there's something the fuck up with you, too. You need to, you get into therapy, girl. Get some EMDR or something. You gotta run away. Run away, run away from the AGP. There were no signs... You were transposed. I'm the little one in the flowered nightgown. Oy. MT, I've told mom I'm a girl in 1960-something. Now I'm 60-something and I'm a woman, ma. Okay, fatherless. Um, First year, gender-affirming hormone therapy done. Never too late to be yourself. It's always going to be too late to be a woman because you're a man and you're never going to be a woman, so... Oh, I see how it is. Ah, the retcon. I get it now. I get it now. The trans retcon. Um... In order to justify this, the trans kid, the, 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 the AGPs, a lot of the trans people do it, but it's definitely the, the AGPs especially will be like, oh, there were no signs I was trans as a kid. Here's me in a dress when I'm three years old. Homie, that doesn't mean shit. It means you're a little boy in a dress and a hat. If you want to read into it, if you want to retcon your fetish into this, you're sick. You're sick. You're sick fuck. Um, because now you are also assigning a paraphilia to this young boy right here who's missing his father. My daddy went out for a pack of fags three years ago and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> okay, so now he's 60 something. Is this, is this in a, what? I am disgusted. I'm, I'm gonna move on. My hair grew since I was a little girl. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. That's, mm. I hate that I had to see that. I'm excited for a long weekend of gaming. I'm sure you are. A lot of you guys are gamers. Where are your cat ears? Where's your cat girl ears? If they, I swear to God, if this is Kevin James again, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Oh, no. Ugh. E-girl gamer mommy. Okay. Absent father son. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just proud of that one. Ugh. Ugh. I, I wonder if this is the same bloke who was like, I wiped my ass and I felt like, damn girl, because doesn't that look like 
It's like a toilet. It's like a toilet selfie. Like, this guy's taking a shit right now. <laughs> Show us the diaper. I mean, not really, but I know the diaper's there. I can I can feel the presence of your diaper, sir. <laughs> I can feel the presence of your diaper. Oy. Yeah, I can tell when one's... Uh, no, they're not. Um, you're, you're just a fucked up female. Sorry about it. You look like the type of chick who, um, read a lot of homoerotic fan fiction. Perhaps South Park? But I feel like there's something... Let's try to figure out what kind of, um, gay fan fiction. I don't think it was, like, Destiel. Maybe John Locke? This might be a John Locke fan fiction reader. Or you know what? Or like Steven Universe. This this woman watches Steven Universe. <laughs> there we go. Gym locker room. This is if this is about you, uh-huh. Yep. This is about you going and stay out of women's spaces. Hey, bike monkeys, stay out of the women's restroom, stay out of the women's locker room. You're a sick fetishist, you're a pervert. Um, and you your father left and never came back. Um and if he didn't physically do that, he emotionally did that. And that's why you're like this. Sorry. Do I pass? No. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Luther Vanders. Um, oh God. This is just tragic. Look at him. He looks like, um, uh, I wish I could remember actors names when I need it. Cause I know exactly who he's, he's giving. He's, he's, He's giving, um, mm, definitely a bloke, like an actual, a right English bloke. <laughs> I need to figure this out. It's not Jeffrey Rush. <laughs> Lovely, gorgeous bloke. Okay. Problems. No, thanks. My problem is having to deal with you guys. Turning 52. I think I know exactly who this is. I, I have a feeling we're going to get to know some of these blokes and they're going to be showing up quite regularly. If it's who I think it is, we're about to see breaking news. We're about to see a large forehead on our translator. Next up on BBC Two. Okay. Oh, I was surprised. It's not who I thought it was. Still ugly. Horrible. Horrible man. Well, oh. <laughs> get a fucking grip dude <laughs> ugh see fetish ugh god I'm sorry I went there guys I don't mean to do this to you but you know this is what they do wondering dot 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 wondering if you should stop watching porn porn sissy hypno porn yeah uh, the answer is you should you should stop wondering ugh <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Ooh, oh, 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 oh no! His gynecomastia and softball um, implants are not big enough to fill this. I, it's, it's. Oh man, it's Katsuo Ushiguro. <laughs> Sir, I love your mains of the day. I wish you wouldn't be wearing a dress. <laughs> never let me go. Never AGP. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Sad boy to bright eyes. You mean pornogami eyes? Let's see it. Ooh. Ooh. What did I say? What you say? Those are the psycho. Goodbye, horses. I'm flying over you. That's what those eyes say. He looks like Moby. <laughs> and look, the Baphomet, the ball, septum piercing. This is disturbing. So this is a man who um, had moral clarity in the sense that what he, he knew what he was doing was bad for him. He knew it was wrong. 
Um, he knew that the porn he was looking at was disgusting and sick. And then this is the man whose morals have been um, completely eroded. So that, that's that freedom that you see in his eyes. That's why he's smiling. He thinks he's free from dysphoria. What he's free from is his ability to have um, moral clarity and um, empathy for human beings, particularly women. So, yeah, this guy's going to... Um, he's probably got a couple heads in his freezer at this point, women's heads possibly making a, a skin suit yeah that's that's buffalo bill that's buffalo bill right there that's a right buffalo bill bloke <laughs> so so let's end on that <laughs> remember stay stunning and stay brave <laughs> <laughs>